You filming? I'm filming. We're doing on, it. Man. Hey. All right. Hey, hey. Today's a very uh, special video. Back here at the home track and here with the one and only Brad Dalkey. We're going to be doing a break. Course record. Course record. Yeah. Break a course record. <laughs> Yeah, so the course record is, it's actually 64 from the tips. This, tri this course is tricky. There's lots of birdies out there, but we're doing the break 65. We're seeing how low we can go. It's the home course. I know this like the back of my hand. Hopefully I can go low. Hopefully you can as well. Hole number one, par four. You guys have probably seen it before. Sunflower Hills, we're back. It'll play. Golly, almost missed the ball. Driver right on Garrett's line, just hopefully a little higher. Let's get this around and start off right. Good ball, Brad. Thank you. When you're trying to go low, do you think about around differently? A little bit? Uh, Yeah, a little bit. It's one of those things, this course can kind of bite you in the butt if you start getting too aggressive. So, kind of want to take, get aggressive when you can to easy pins, but kind of make sure you know, if you go to a dumb pin and pull it or something and short side yourself, it's easy bogey. So you got to attack when, when it's smart to. But I like to set a number in my head. So obviously today the number is 64. <laughs> so that's kind of, you know, that way if I get to four under, I know I got to You got to keep going, going right? Yeah. I can't really get relaxed with it. I like this because like I also have Brad today, almost like as a help. Because you know, you've been there before. Mm -hmm. See, for me, it's like, you know the saying, act like you've been there for, uh, before. You know, for me, I've never been there before, so I don't know how to act. Whenever I get to that four or five under number, I get a little uncomfortable because my brain wants mm -hmm. to feel comfortable. And it tries yeah. to push me back to that even par. Well, that first swing was not the start that I needed to feel, but that's all right. If I just get into a groove, I feel like my body will take over sometimes at a course like this. 124, it's going to be an easy 54. Pins in the back. Just trying to leave myself an uphill putt here. See if we can hit a good one. All right. Well, I just missed the green. Dad, go. I got 105 uphill, downwind. Trying to keep this ball below the hole. It's on lens about 103. Should be really good, I think. The thing that I will say is like in my brain, I've kind of charted out which holes that need to be birdies and which holes that need to be, or can be pars. And hole one, of, and hole one is one of the holes that can be a par. This is actually not one of the easier holes out here, in my opinion. You gotta hope for some luck in these 64, these these break 65 challenges. Who knows? Low left to right, just gotta stay aggressive. That's not the first wedge shot we wanted, but we're good. Woo. Left to right here for the par. That was quite the unfortunate chip. See if we can knock it in, though. gonna make it a lot harder. Hey, some of my best rounds have started with a bogey. It's weird, dude, but whenever I start with a bogey, I typically play better. Well, my ball spun back pretty hard, it looks like, but got about 20 feet straight up the hill. Maybe a little right to left. See if we can make this to start the round off with a three. And I would've hit, made it if I'd hit it. I gotta act like that hole never happened. I took one positive from that hole. I hit a good putt. It rolled very nicely. I feel like we're going to be rolling it well today. Got number two, par five, dog leg left. Very reachable. I think it's around 500 yards or something like that. So a little into the wind. So it's trying to hit a little high draw over the left corner. Perfect. So good. Almost fell over, but. I got driver as well here. Trying the same strategy. I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> You, you guys will see, that's like where I miss every single time I play this hole, and it's normally like an eight iron in the middle of the wrong fairway. <laughs> I'm gonna be quick, because I'm in the wrong fairway, which uh, it's not great. 201 yards, we're gonna hit a full seven here. I think this should be the right club. Putting for eagle. After that sloppy start, I'm I'm happy with that. 157 out of the rough. Probably gonna catch a flyer, Cade. Yeah, you, you, just... you might. Those flyers are pretty common out the yeah, rough. Yeah, yeah. So I got pitching wedge because it's probably gonna come out hot out of here. Try to aim a little bit right of the hole, probably 10, 15 feet right of it. Give myself a good look for eagle. Oh my! What did it do? I got 
got very lucky. Why'd you get lucky? If that had been out of the fairway, that ball would have been like 10 yards right of the green. <laughs> really? Yeah, like he knuckled back left. Obviously play the wrong hole. Apologize to those guys. But we both have eagle putts. There we go. I need a birdie here, like bad. But we're gonna see if we can make eagle. It would be so nice to roll this one in because it's like hole one was definitely not a hole that you should bogey from where you are. And then hole two, it's like, this probably isn't a hole that you should eagle, but of course give and take away. Back to even, but in an ideal world, obviously, I would be I'd be in red numbers right now. But shoulda, coulda, woulda. That's golf. All right, Brad, you got a good look at it. I want to see this ball. All right, it's breaking on the left or right. You got a perfect read from Garrett. Let's see if I can make a little eagle. Go 200 through two. And I left it low. That's good. Uh, thank you. Just left it out right and low. Good two putts from Brad and I though. Brad one under in the, in the red numbers. It's a good start. It's, it's kind of on track. I'm obviously even par. A little behind. Plenty of golf left to be played. You got a dog like right par four here. How far is this hole? Like 400? Uh, Something like that probably? Yeah. I got drivers going down the right side. Sets up good for my cut. Come right. Yeah. It's... Wind holds it up. That's fine. Half, 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 half. Boing, boing, boing. All right, I think it's fine. I think the wind just wouldn't let the thing cut. I kind of know the holes out here, like the back of my hand. And there are certain ones that you want to birdie. There are certain ones that are like par. So here's the deal. I bogeyed hole one. This is typically a par hole here. In an ideal world, you kind of, you're looking for par or whatever. Birdie's kind of a steal in this hole. After a, bo a bogey on hole one, eh, I want to birdie this hole. One thing that I will say, after hole one, how terrible I hit that drive. It feels good now the driver's swing is like actually feeling slotted. So, good news for the rest of the round. Pretty solid tee shot here, right side of the fairway. Actually, probably one of my best tee shots in this hole ever. 77 yards, a little 60 degree in hand. Trying to make birdie here. Almost trying to steal one from the course a little bit. Hit. Put my cheeks in that one a little bit too much. That was like almost a gimme birdie from there. We're still making that, but it's further than it. It's with kind of a little left here, but it's actually perfect to this pin placement. Got 67 yards out of the rough, probably another flyer. Landed about 25 feet short of the hole. Let it run back there. I just landed it way too short. It's a shot I wanted, but I need to land it about 20 feet further. No way. Bueno. That was not very good there, Cade. I think you could have done better than that. Probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah. I got about 30 feet here. Spokes in on speed. Get a two putt, get out of here. But maybe I'll go in. Who knows? Hit the ball. If I can read the green right, I think I'm going to make it. All right, I actually pushed that. I had the line. That was unfortunately not my best attempt. In for par though, even to three. Left that putt way too short. We got about a three footer here, three and a half footer for my par. Let's break a little right. Let's see if we can clean this up. Nice. Nice. Okay. I was 60 yards out, perfect spot. I did not expect to have a three footer for par there, but it's all right. One under through three, lots of holes left, make some birdies. Got to keep having fun, feeling the flow. Be on the flow. Always play shorter, 63 downhill, downwind. I'm going pitching wedge. Should just be a nice full P wedge. I've planned out my birdies in my head, so we'll see if it happens. I'll let you guys know once uh, once they happen. I also have a pitching wedge, 163 downwind. I think it's a perfect club, so nice stock P wedge and hopefully hit it close. Be good. Be so good. Go in. Oh my gosh, Brad. Dude, brother. That was not leaving the flag. I thought that was gonna dunk there for a second. I did too, I was just looking at the pin. <laughs> now, now I have 20 feet, so sick. What a shot from Bradimus there. Down the hill, going P wedge as well. Trying to take some of the spin off of it. Sit, 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 sit. What? I'm shocked. I did not 
think that there was a chance I would be able to hit that long. That's unfortunate, guys. Just a little too much club there. I guess the wind was a little more aggressive than I thought, so 60 degree in hand. Not good, not good. My ball landed right here, about a yard short, and then spun back pretty hard, so I got about 25 feet. Try to get this thing, or give this thing a chance. I just won't get a ball to the hole today, I guess. Far. All right, one under four. Not bad, to be fair. Not a bad start. All right. Trying to stay positive out here, guys, but unfortunately, over par through uh, four holes is not the start that you want. That's golf. On to the next. I can't get in my head too much now. I gotta got to stay dialed, got to stay focused. Bogeys happen. Unfortunately, we've had two stupid ones, very stupid ones on these first four, but Brad here with driver. Yep. Hole number five. Where do I want to go here? Into the wind. Over What's the line? Degrees. Still? Yeah. Okay. Par four, dog like left, pretty short hole. Good drive, leaves you, leaves you a pretty short shot in. I'm going to go high draw, back into the breeze. Finish it kind of over these trees somewhere and should be good. That's fine. That is totally fine. Brad's over on the right side. We're just gonna lock in right now. I'm, I might not talk too much, guys. I'm gonna lock in, play some golf. Driver in hand here. Hit it good. Hit it on my line, just maybe a little lower than I would like, but should be all right. 79 yards, probably landed about 75 out of the rough here. It's got a lob wedge, it's kind of a feel shot. Feel 75 yard shot. Oh! Did it? It almost went in. That would have been neat. I can't see it from here, but I guess it's close. Almost went in. Hopefully, it's happened, Birdie. Still the right rough. 59 yards. 60 degree in hand. Brad is tapping. Doesn't even need his putter. I literally thought he was going to make that. Let's see if we can put one close. Maybe about four feet. Brad's tap in. We'll see if I can knock mine in. I'll tap her on in there. There it is. 200 through five. Good start. Good start. Nice solid start. Well, I just need to be two behind him. Up the hill putt for the birdie. The thing is the putter's been rolling. So I feel confident with that thing today. Nice. Thanks. Two stupid bogeys for me on these first four. That's obviously why I'm even. Brad and I have birdied the same holes together. Lots of golf to be played. Two under, even par. On to hole six, par five. Typically you could hit like an iron into this hole, but it's a little under the breeze. So probably gonna be driver, hybrid or three wood today. All right, I got driver. Just going right down the middle, hopefully. Maybe hit a little bit lower just cause of the wind. So yeah, let's do it. That's fine, that's too scary. That's a spot to miss. I don't know if I'll be able to go for it, hit it spinning right, but we'll see. It's safe though. I'm aiming pretty much where Brad's ball ended up. And we're gonna try and, if anything, miss left. Driver in hand here. Hopefully we put one in the fairway. Miss left. A little savey. Rough. Cause like that was 20 yards left of my target. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously if I was hitting the fairway, yeah. aiming at the fairway, that's OB. Hey. Yeah, we'll take it in the fairway. Oh boy, this is gonna, this is gonna require a lot of wrist hinge. I just don't think I can get it there unless I hit three wood with this swing. Cause the lie is kind of sitting down. I am not going to be going for the green. I think it's dumb. Like if you get it 175, it'll roll up just short of the green. I'm just gonna hit three iron. Gotta choke down on it, get really wristy with it to avoid that limb. Mm, Alright. I was worried that might happen, but rough. I was worried that might happen just because that lie was not good, but basically a layup now. This is the best drive I've ever hit on this hole and it's not even close. I don't know where this came out of, but 180. We're going seven iron here. Not quite full and hopefully we make eagle, yeah? Yeah. We'll see. I think it was good, but hopefully I just have a putt. It could, I honestly don't know. We'll see. At 103 out of the rough. Gonna have to make birdie the hard way. Hen is very accessible. Probably can come out with not much spin again out of the rough. 
it's like a three quarter 56 degree Very knuckly there, but played it well. I have like a 15 footer for birdie. Well, you guys, this is why I come up short a lot on the golf course. For example, that time at 180 into the breeze, and I was like, all right, we're gonna take some off the seven iron. One shot of me going long, it'll get in my head, and then I'm scared of going long. So then I'll go short. There's really no excuses, that's just a mental thing. Didn't feel good about that putt, and obviously the results show. I got about 15 feet here for my birdie. Downhill, should be breaking right pretty good. Got about a cup and a half out left. Let's see if I can dial in that speed. Wow. Did a pretty good putt. That thing did not break hardly at all. Tap in par, it's disappointing on a par five. It's all right though. You gotta trust the stroke for the birdie, come on. I thought I missed it low for a second. Prep in that left lip. We'll take it. That's not one that you really ever expect to eagle, honestly. Hole number six is like, birdie is honestly a really good score. Hole number six is by far the hardest par five on this course. And I would say one of the harder ones that probably you'll ever play with that fairway. So one under into red numbers for the first time today. Massive risk reward hole here. If you hit driver, it's like birdie is very much so in play if you hit a good drive. If you miss driver, you're making bogey at least. I always play this one for a old fashioned birdie, so I'm gonna stay the same. Try and put one in the fairway with a four iron. Lead to 150 shot on the green, make a putt, call it good. It's all right, it ended up okay, but that was uh, not a good golf swing there. All right, I got driver. I'm just gonna try to hit a little choke up, fairway finder. One of these just kinda gotta sack up and hit, hit you a good drive here, you know? Come on, Wayne. Come on. I think you're all right. Wow. That was not very good. Very unsolid, left it out right. It's all right though. I think it'll be safe by what Garrett's saying, so we'll see. 180 yards and I'm hitting a pitching wedge. It's weird to say it, folks, but I think it's enough club. What the? Get lucky. Come on. Gotta quit dropping the clubs today, folks. That's gonna be a tough par from over there, but I made crazier pars in this course. We'll see. I'm not gonna be able to go high because that tree's in the way partially. You have to go low and try to run it through that rough in front of the green and hope I get the right pops. Well, tough shot. I don't know what to say. We're making a mess of this hole, folks. We really are. It's unfortunate, but it can happen out here. Not great there. I can get this up and down though. We got about 50 yards, plenty of green to work with. Decent lie, it looks like. We land about 20 feet short, let it run on back there. Hopefully save. This would be a big par save right here. This might be a pivotal part of the round. I hit that about exactly how I wanted to. Looks like I have about seven feet before. To make that I'm trying to leave myself an uphill putt here if anything it's not one that typically is is an easy shot to get close but we're gonna see what we can do obviously gotta just try and make par maybe finish with a birdie on nine two under is respectable leaving the front nine but we'll see what we can do that was uh Kind of how I wanted to hit it, unfortunately, it didn't slow down as much as I, I thought it would, but we gave it a run. Hopefully we can make this up the hill, keep it in the red digits, we'll see. Pretty good shot from back there to give myself a good look at par. Pretty simple putt, it's breaking a little right, but it's dead up the hill. Probably just outside left edge and firm. This is one of those par saves that would be a momentum booster actually, so let's see if I can knock this down. That's big, that's big. That's huge for the low rounds and good rounds. Just in general, you're gonna have a few holes like that where you gotta save something and I'm glad I was able to save par there. I'm gonna try and keep this one firm, but it snapped in the left side. Nice. Hey, that's some grinding right there, brother. <laughs> Let's wow. go. 
Those are uh, some solid pars from Brad and I there on hole number seven. After those tee shots weren't likely. This could have easily been two doubles. Yeah, very easily. 88, that's gonna be a light seven iron again. It's like, I'm trying to hit the same shot I did on hole number six. That one could be nice. I hit a little draw, so I could see the little after jizz pushing that one left, but who knows. All right, I got seven iron. I'm gonna try to go just right of the hole. There's a little tree trunk in the middle of the green. I'm trying to kind of go between that and things. Yeah. Golly, Brad. What'd you hit? Skippy. Seven. I don't know, mine looked really good, so we're just gonna film in case it's in. Let's, uh, That'd be neat. I think I see a little shiny little half of a ball. It's close to the pin, I think. It's like a foot. <laughs> Tap in. All right, well, there's Birdie. On to two under. Ball's flying far today. I don't know if it's because it's like all hot or whatever. These are ones that you're stealing one. This is not a hole that you would typically birdie. I hit a good shot in there as well. Not near as good as old Garrett's. It was a great birdie he just made. I got a chance. About 25 feet down the hill. Breaking left as it gets on the hill and maybe back right at the end. Just gonna focus on the speed. Hopefully the line's correct. Maybe it'll fall in there. That's good. Good uh, well, I think I shoved it quite a bit. I don't think I read it. Read it correctly anyways, but it's tough hole, I'll take par. I'm two under, Brad's two under through eight holes. On hole number nine, dog leg left par four. Nice birdie on uh, on eight. Let's see if we can continue it with a birdie on nine. Get it to three under through nine. This is, that would be respectful going into uh, in the back side. I'm laying up, got a five iron here. Let's see if we can put one in the fairway. All right, middle of the fairway. Nice start to the hole, five iron wedge, putt, birdie, three under, that's the goal. All right, I'm also laying up. I'm going a little different route than Garrett. I'm hitting two iron, trying to go over the right edge of the bunker. Should be a perfect distance. And if I hit it well, I should have just a little bit closer wedge shot, maybe 60 yards. Yeah, a little bit right up where I wanted, but I think it's still fairway, so. In a good spot. Oh, this is the tricky part, Kate. This is the tricky part. We have 104, that is a 60 degree. The only issue is that might spin. My other issue is I don't like taking much off clubs. I just feel weird doing it. I'm gonna go 60 degree. Throw it past the hole with anything. Let it just come in there a little bit. Give myself an uphill putt if anything. Great shot. This guy back here is a real player. It's getting high at the right time. I tell you what, he's about to make his fifth birdie of the front nine. Woo! That was a good shot, G. Very Thank nice. You. Thank you. I'm 69 yards out. Probably have to land it, I don't know, 10 yards short of the green and run it up there. Yep, a 50 degree. Basically just kind of bump and running it. landed that so much further than I wanted to, but it worked out. Well, two solid shots. Let's see if we can finish with two birdies. What? Can't be having those in the break 65. Can't. We got about 15 feet here. Range is a little bit right. Very good look. I think the greens are a little furrier today, so I don't think they're breaking quite as much. So I'm gonna play a little less break and hit just a little bit firmer on this one. And I can't tell if I just didn't play enough or pushed it. Ah, I gotta start making some putts, man. Breaking 65 out here, you gotta make your putts, that's for sure, and I'm just not doing that. I didn't even feel bad about that putt or anything. I thought I was gonna make it. I felt good getting up there and tapping it in. Had it lined up exactly where it needed to be, and then I almost missed the putt. I'm like, literally almost missed the ball. Like, it was that bad of a stroke. But, that's golf, it happens. Brad and I, two under on the front nine. Uh, it's respectable. Unfortunately, I definitely left a lot out there on the front with, with two bogeys and a missed putt there, but that goes to show that there's a lot of opportunities that could be had on the back nine uh, with those missed opportunities on the front nine. So, on to hole number 10. We'll see what we can do. Gonna need six under. 
Gonna need six under. Time to focus up now. Nine holes left to do it. Gotta go six under. Gotta have a good nine. I'm taking some positives from that side. You need six, you need six birdies, three pars, obviously. Two eagle opportunities, that's a good call. 17 and 11. It's not impossible. Is it improbable? Sure. Right side of fairway, maybe just in the rough. We'll see. I just had a little back nine glizzy. So I'm feeling good. Swing hard at this one, try to get it up somewhere. Let's have a little pitch shot up to the green. Thank you. Hit that one pretty hard, it felt like. So hopefully it's up there, maybe 40 yards out. Ready? Get him going. Oh, wait, no, I'm not recording yet. Just kidding, I am. Yeah, that was a good joke. You actually pranked me. 75 yards from my ball, just in the rough. 69 yards from uh, Brad's ball, just in the fairway. This is where we start our run at victory. Hopefully that run doesn't end until the 18th hole. We're going to have Cade go up to the green and film us up there. Good luck, Cade. Hey, thank yeah, you too. I can already see this video title on YouTube. I finally did it breaking 65, the course record. I, I'm yeah. just picturing it right now. Right, right, right. Yeah, and it all starts with this next shot. I wouldn't say that's the start we wanted. I mean, you could just get it halfway there, Garrett. Maybe just halfway there, come on. Up to hell, I'm locking it in. Not ideal, but it's okay. I'm staying locked in, I'm staying focused. My shot I hit wasn't terrible. Not as close as I would have loved, but I got about another 15 footer. I feel like I've had 15 footers all day, kid. Yeah, let's see if I can make one of these. Just breaking a little right to left. Let's get a little birdie train going. There it is! Woo! Good thing they hit the hole. That was gonna be about a six footer coming back. You know what, what it was, Brad? What? The glizzy. The glizzy. I'm the glizzy gobbler today, boys. Also, I also just devoured a Butterfinger in about three seconds. Feeling pretty full right now, but full bellies are happy bellies. Hole number 11 is a tackable hole. I, I, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Don't say it then. I'm not gonna say it. Say it real quick. Just real quick. Really? Yeah. We could make eagle on hole 11. Just driver, try to hit a draw down that right side. Good drive here will lead to a good chance at an eagle or a birdie. Exactly what I wanted. Should have just a short iron or a wedge in, I think. I'm aiming right of his, trying to, if anything, draw one in there. See if we can hit a good tee shot. Not in a great spot here. <laughs> oh. Sit. Tell me behind another. Oh my god. I have to play for the flyer, Kate. I have 124, but I'm literally hitting a 60 degree. I think it's gonna fly. The ball flies out here. Full swing 60. Hopefully just give myself a putt at birdie. Come on. That knuckled like three different directions. All right, Kate, I've got 114 yards playing up to 124 yards. So I got gap wedge, a nice drive there, put myself in a good spot. See if I can hit this wedge close and give myself a good look at an eagle. Go with the hole. Don't spin a ton. Yeah, hoping it landed far enough past to where it didn't spin off the front. A little left of it, hopefully it's about pin high. 10 feet. I'm just happy that I got a putt of birdie. This is one where if you par it, it's like bogeying. So hopefully we can knock this in. This would be a huge putt. No way. I was like almost about to walk that in. I, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Wow. Thought I made it. Mm. A little par, kind of feels like a bogey, but seven holes of golf to be played. Gotta go 600 in the next seven, we'll see. Well, that was really bad distance control by me. My ball landed 12 yards past the hole. Not very good, it's fun back here, but I got about a 30, 35 footer for Eagle. Breaking quite a bit left to right. I think I know the read, so just focus on the speed and hope maybe somehow it can fall in. Yeah. 
higher, Brad. Nice bird, Brad. Right. A little disappointing, only having 115 yards into a par five. Wish I at least get myself a little better look at Eagle, but it's a birdie, four under through 11. Got to keep those birdies rolling on this back nine to get that eight under number. Needs four more, I need six more. We'll see what we can do. On to hole number 12, up and over a hill, straight away par four. Brad's on a little streak, let's see if he can keep it going. For me, I need to get on a streak. I need to bad and I need to really bad. Let's get, keep the streak going. Put it. Get lucky. Hopefully, there's some trees down there, so hopefully I have a shot, but we'll see. All right, driver in hand here. There we go. We're getting on a streak. I'm telling you now, we're getting on a streak. I got a uh, very lucky break here. I was going in the middle of the trees. I guess I hit one and hopped out here, basically in the fairway. So I got 154 yards. I got pitching wedge just because you cannot go long at this long of the screen. So I'm gonna try to keep it under the hole, see if I can take advantage of that lucky break. Go. I was right at it, but it's under the hole like I thought it would be. I knew that pitching wedge wouldn't go long, so I think it was the right club. I have about a 20 footer for birdie. All right, just left the fairway by about a foot. Unfortunate little break, but I don't mind it. I can just go up and over this tree here. 84 yards, got a 60 degree in hand. We'll see what we can do. Be good. Go. Go. Shot. Thanks. Up the hill, come on. Gotta hop on that streak now, and it's pretty much now or never. Brad's looking at about 35, 40 feet. I got about, say, 12 feet. We'll see if Brad can make it, make it three. I said back there, probably about 20 feet, a little longer than that. Probably about 40 foot putt. Dead up the hill. Honestly, if you had given me this putt after that drive I hit, I probably would have taken it. Let's see if I can uh, just dial on the speed here. It's gonna be a slow putt up this hill. That's how you misread a putt right there, ladies and gentlemen. I thought that was breaking right up the hill. That went left. That actually did squiggle right. End over end, it was a nice roll. That was weird, I just saw Brad snap and I was like, it's gotta be right edge, but it's all good. Nice. Saved my par at least. I didn't think I'd be uh, grinding for a par that much from that first putt, but what is it, 400 through 12 now. You get on the run, you got one more par five, that's Eagle Bull, but you need to make some birdies some other holes as well. All right, we got 193 here. This is a tough par three. It's just a mid iron, but the green is very difficult. 183 is down like five yards, so 185. I've got seven iron, because you just do not want to go anywhere long here. I'm just hoping for a seven iron to go about 15 feet short of the hole. Leave myself an uphill birdie putt. Sit down, sit. Well, that's gonna be pin high, but that putt is gonna break about 100 feet to the right. So, just be two putt in that one, hopefully. Just scared of it. Definitely was seven iron, but I was just thinking, you know, anything short is all right. For some reason I cranked this, maybe we can get it there. But I'll take a putt up the hill. I've changed my mentality on these massive breakers out here at Sunflower. Instead of lining them up, like, because literally the thing is, with how much these break, when you line a ball up, your brain cannot get you to hit it that far out side of the hole. So for me, I'm just gonna feel it and just see if I can uh, roll a good one here, up the hill. For the birdie. At the right line, just hit a little too hard there, Cade. It's about pin high, but like I said on the tee, this putt is going to break a ton. It's one of those putts where it breaks so much, you're trying, for me, I'm trying to visualize it to where I'm trying to miss this ball like high of the hole with perfect pace. Because if you get, get that thing going low, it'll just get away from you quick. So I'm playing this about 10 feet out left, probably. Trying to get in that side door. I will take that any day on that putt. For the par. That almost missed. <laughs> we won't talk about it, but good catch <laughs> hole. On to hole 14. 
Brad's still four under, I'm two under, uh, five holes remain. My odds of that 64 number are not, are not great. Still technically possible with par five, but we gotta be really aggressive coming in here. Dog big right, par four. This is where the stretch of holes is tough. I mean, these last, honestly, these last holes up until 17 and 18 are, are not easy, so. And this is where we gotta get all of our strokes. So on driver, I'm trying to go right over the right edge of that bridge you see down there. You can miss right a little bit, left is a no-go. Good swing, good cut. Let's do it. Perfect. That right there is a good golf shot, folks. Thank you. Man. Jeez. Hit that one pretty hard there. Should leave me a nice little wedge in. Game's Hopefully you give me self give give myself a good chance at birdie. Try to do the same thing. Just emulate whatever the heck Brad just did. Probably gonna have to take a drop. Dang. That is uh that is unfortunate. That landing zone, you can't miss left. You can only miss right. We might be seeing some poison ivy, we're gonna do it. Ah. Ay ay ay. Guys, a little bit of a mess of the round. Now we gotta try and get this up and down for the par. And the break 65, it's not what you want, but it's golf. It happens. I am now using ice cubes to hopefully get any poison ivy off me. That might have just touched my skin. Does that work? I have no idea. I was wondering that while you're doing it. Hey, Bradley. Um, I got 87 yards. Hit a very nice drive there in the perfect spot. This green also slips very hard from front to back, or I guess from back to front. So I need to watch the spin. So I'm gonna try to hit a lob wedge and hit a kind of low ball, hoping for one skip and then kind of a stop. So see if I can do it. I mean, that's gonna spin a lot. That I feel like that might have a chance to go in. I thought that was really good. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully, it didn't spin too much. Might be close. 98 yards here, 60 degree in hand. Come on. Struggling out here, folks. I'm struggling. That's all right. I guess I was remembering the wrong green because this green does not slope back to front like at all and my ball did not spin back whatsoever so that was a lot of uh excitement for a whole lot of nothing i got about 25 feet pretty easy looking putt overall i think it's pretty straight maybe moving just a little bit from the left to right yeah it's got to be moving left to right probably playing it just outside the left lip then you get something going you start making some birdies Let's see if we can start right here Am I just not very smart today or? I played that going left to right and that moved about a foot left. So that's how today's going. Yeah, I definitely got in some poison ivy. No. I'm already itching. No, that's just a mental thing. All right, left to right down the hill for the par. I need this. I need to try and salvage a good round today, folks. Okay, had a lot of putts today that I thought I made that unfortunately I've not gone in, but it is what it is. Now I'm, I'm, I'm rooting for Brad today. I really, I want to see a strong finish. I did not think I'd be leaving myself a five footer after that putt, but right center and firm up the hill. Nice putt. I need to get my eyes checked or something. I can't read one of these screens at all. Yeah, that was also frustrating. I thought that wood shot was gonna be really close. Yeah. And it was not, so it's all right. Got some more birdie holes coming up. Four holes remain. Brad needs to go four under in the last four. It's possible. On these challenges, like just 18 holes stroke play, trying to shoot that golden number, like you have to have your A game. Doesn't matter what course you're playing, doesn't matter if it's an easy, if it's a hard course. Well, I mean, Sunflower Hills in and of itself is a tricky course, but I feel like I kind of have my, my B, B, B plus, maybe B minus game today. Dude, I'm kind of itching. Is that, is that nocebo? Would that be nocebo? Wouldn't that, that be placebo? Placebo is a good thing. What? There's another thing? Nocebo. It's when like you feel something bad. Well, if that's a real thing, then I 100%. I feel Nocebo. like if you had poison ivy, you realize it like much later. Yeah, I, I feel like he made that up, no? That's no. completely made up. Nope. Well, hey, it's in Kansas the comments thing. down below. Wait, placebo is literally just- Doesn't like, mean you have to be Your good? mind tricking you into something that's happening that's so, not. Yeah. Placebo is when you feel like, say for example, Wait, like- so you don't feel like you have poison ivy right now? No, I feel like I do because it's nocebo. But you're saying you might not? Who knows? I'm just itchy. You drink a sip of coffee and you're like, oh, I already have energy. That's placebo. That's, That's placebo. placebo. Yeah. But like, nocebo is when you feel something bad. How does one spell that? I don't know. 
but we're, we'll look it up. I mean, it's a thing. Okay. Yeah, everyone in the comments will know. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is one of the hardest. I, I'd say this is the hardest hole in the course. This and hole number six. I mean, downhill, then back up the hill. My goal now, I the thing is for me, I set goals for myself. The original goal was obviously break 65. Now for me, I want to try and shoot in the 60s. I want to get to the 69 number. We got some holes remaining that I think would make that possible. Four holes left, hole number 15. If you had a good tee shot, you have a nice wedge in. We'll see what Brad can do. So basically, you cannot miss left in this hole at all. You can miss right. It's not in a great spot, but at least it's safe. I'm going to try to just hit a high draw. Actually, a pretty big draw. Aim it out right. If I don't draw it enough, that's all right. If I hit like I want to, it'll be perfect. And the wind's off the right, so that'll help. Oh. Thank you. Oh, Gee. You got the driver working today. The driver feels nice today. Except for maybe two drives I had on the front nine. I kind of left out right. I'm hitting the driver pretty nice, so it feels good. I'm trying to do what Brad just did. Ah. One of those days, man. One of those days. That's probably going to be a bogey. Push me back to that even par, but all right, 184. I'm hitting nine iron because it's gonna be a flyer over here. It's tough. Sometimes it's a tough pill to swallow when you're doing these videos and you're not playing great, but I just gotta mentally stay in it, see if I can finish as strong as possible. Still under par. I mean, likelihood of parring this not great, but if I can bogey, I'm all right with that. See if we can put one on the putting surface here. Chunk that. That's gonna be short. Dang. Yeah, okay, 81 yards, playing up 10 yards to 91. Pretty similar shot to the last hole. And this green, I actually know for sure, goes from back to front very hard. So I need to get this thing past it and let it come back. Just the exact same swing I made in the last hole, to be honest. Try to get about 20 feet past the hole, let it come back down the hill. Hope I flew that far enough. I think that had a lot of spin on it, but pretty good shot. We'll see where it is up there. Oh, it's rolling off the front. I'm kidding. You, you, you got me. I was about to get so mad. Oh my. Dude, Brad had a good shot. I hope he makes that. I mean, that would get him to five under. Four left. I mean, that would keep him kind of like in the mix for that, that 64 number. A little chunk nine iron for me here. God, I just hope I can get it up and down for bogey. Like, this is not great, but. I'm gonna be honest, over the ball, I was like, I'm gonna make this. I told myself that. Still would have just been a par. So we'll see if we I mean this is this is a gimme, but we're gonna tap in for the little bogey here. Back to even par. Ah, right where we started. 15 holes and it almost didn't mean anything. So I hit a really nice shot in here. It landed, I actually paced it off. It was 20 feet exactly where I landed it past the hole. So I hit the shot exactly how I wanted to. Only problem is, is I do have pretty tough putt, even though it's only six feet. I might have to hit it pretty soft. It's kind of up to the greens, whether they want to maybe be a little bouncy or not. So just got to trust it. Hope it, hope it's the right read and see if I can make it. Yes. There it is. There we go. Five under. I'm playing Ooh. good today. I'm hitting the ball really well, I feel like. The putter has been a little dicey at times, but I gave myself a chance. I need to go three under on the last three. Got a very eagle bull par five on 17, so let's see what I can do these last three holes. Brad's in contention. We got three left. He needs three more. All right, 220. I think the wind's kind of switching on us. It's like it has been. It should be just left to right. I kind of feel more into now. So I think I got four iron. I think I can hit this as hard as I want without having to worry, worry about it going long. So 220, four iron. I'm going to aim about 15, 20 feet right of the hole. Don't really want to go at this pin. Just try to give myself a good look because this is a very tough par three today. That's the play. Give him pin high. Give him yep. pin high. Yeah. You want to make a birdie here, obviously, because I need to make some coming in, but if I go at that pin and miss left, it puts an easy bogey into play. Now at least I have a chance to go make a putt. Well, for me, on the other hand, I'm going to try and go right at the pin because <laughs> I'm not going to break 65. So we'll see. Or I'm not going to go right at the pin. Both have looks at it. We were saying like after you shoot 64, it's like beating the game. You've won. After that, it's just like you've won. So there's nothing else you can really do. So holy, that's actually crazy. I didn't. Where'd you shoot 58? 
Delmar Golf Club. It's one of our, one of the courses we qualified at a bunch in Norman, Oklahoma. Bar 70, 12 birdies, six bars. That's insane. And I had witnesses, so. Down the green. I got a pretty good look from Garrett's putt right there. You got about a 40 footer. Again, I'm just kind of focusing on speed here. It's breaking right to left. Focus on the speed and hope that maybe somehow it can, it can go in. Yeah. Oh, that's three bogeys in a row. I'm on the wrong streak right now. We want the birdie streak. Now I'm going the opposite direction. We're in the, the over par numbers. Currently one over. That's unfortunate, but uh, we have two holes left. Brad is still at that 500 number. The Eagles the next, birdies the last. That's the 64, and that I think I'm right on that. I think that ties the course record. I'm swinging so hard at this. Honestly, oh, this is gonna be. And if it doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. Who cares? I'm just say I'm letting some frustration out on this ball, and I'm giving it everything I got. I'm also gonna be swinging very hard at this one. Not necessarily because of frustration, but because I just want to get it as far down there as possible. All right, Cade, here we go. Letting this one rip. Uh, maybe gone, we'll see. Oh, oh, oh. Little OB there. Dropping, hitting four. <laughs> Tough way to finish off the round, but it, it, it happened. 234 front edge. We gotta try and get up and down for par. We'll see what we can do. I got the four iron here. We can hit a low draw. I think we're maybe in that left bunker there. It's got a bad case of the left today, unfortunately, at least on this back nine. So, gotta get rid of that. <laughs> That'll never do you any good. That'll never do you any good on the golf course, but I think Brad's actually okay over here. I got 209. The drive actually ended up being pretty good. I wish it was in the fairway, but I did hit that pretty far right of where I was aiming, so I didn't really deserve it. It's in a rough downwind, so I'm trying just to decide how much, guess on how much it's gonna jump. 209 landed about 204. I think I gotta go hard eight. I think it's gonna jump pretty good out of this lie. If I get that thing up, that wind's gonna take it pretty good. So I hope I guessed right on the distance. That's jumpy. Holy, that holy jumpy divey left. That what? was the weirdest ball flight. I don't know, it's one of those that knuckles so much that you're basically just hitting it and hoping it, you know, goes the correct way. I gotta get up and down for, for a bogey here. This would be for my fourth bogey in a row. It's, it's unfortunate, and yes, I'm not gonna lie, I am very frustrated right now, but that's golf, and sometimes you have some really bad holes, and sometimes you get really frustrated, which I am definitely <laughs> in both of those situations right now, so. Hopefully we can just get this up and down. Kind of salvage somewhat of a round of golf here. Maybe birdie the last hole, see what we can do. Kind of came out a little more hot than I would have liked, but we got that for the bogey. Well, I think the eight iron actually would have been pretty good uh, distance. We got a pretty simple bunker shot here. Lots of green to work with. Try to land about six feet short of the hole, let it run out. Maybe something cool will happen for an eagle, but. Come on. Nice shot. Look how much sand is in here. Holy crap. That's why I think it came out so high, but that was a pretty good shot. We gave it a run. Good shot from Brad. I'm just trying to make this for the bogey. Nice. I, I If that was going to be another one that I thought was going in that didn't go in. <laughs> the putter might have been on the street. <laughs> yeah, that putter might be in half, you know. Thankfully it's not and we're okay. Come on, Brad. Finish strong. Oh! Dude, for a second I thought that was going to slip by. That was going to power lip like six feet by. <laughs> Alright, snuck that one in there. Get up and down. Six under through 17. One more hole left. I'm going to swing hard at 18. Maybe somehow I can drive the green. I don't know if I can downwind but i need to give myself a chip shot or something and hope i can make that for eagle final hole two over par six under par <laughs> quite the difference in two rounds but i i think it's cool i think it's cool to watch i hope you guys are enjoying as of now the closest i've been to shooting the 65 or better has been five under uh 67 brad comes here first try and hopefully i hope he does it i hope he does a 64 
I want to see it. I really do. This is his first try at it, and he's playing as well as he is, so I'm impressed. I mean, I'm going to swing out of my shoes and just hope somehow maybe I can get on the green. I don't think I can get there. I'll do my best to make a two on this hole. Get lucky. No. Get lucky. I hit that really hard, like I was wanting to. I just pulled it. Who knows, it hit path, I guess. I didn't see it hit path, but maybe somehow, some way it bounced out. All right, let's have some fun with this one, boys. Oh, no. Get lucky! I necked it. I hit it right on the heel. We'll see if we can hold out for even par today. Wait, no way. No way. No Wait, way. we thought his ball was back there. It hits the path. Is this oh. it? Is it it? That's it. Come on, baby. Come on. Wow. Yes. Pin high. Like, we were sad. Yeah. Very sad. That's crazy. Oh, 65, 64. A good number is in play for Brad here. I'm just going to hit this one for kicks and grins here. Four bogeys in a row, and maybe we finish with a birdie for a nice little one over par. And the luck continues because this path is interfering with my swing. So I'm going to get a drop. Yeah. My nearest point, and then you get a club link, put a dime down for that, and now we drop and hope it's on the grass. I think that's relief. This is for the course record. Come on. Sick. Wow, you put some dip on that, brother. If he would have made that, that would have been course record. But he's got that for the 65. Brad's been playing some really good golf today. I got this for a nice little 73, not that it matters. So we're just going to watch and, uh, See if Brad can knock this in. This would be for the lowest round on the channel. The lowest round in GM Golf history right here. That birdie got me to 93. <laughs> that was the lowest round. All right, Brad, come on. All right, you got about a 20 footer here, breaking pretty hard right to left. Let's see if I can make this putt. Let's give it a good roll, get a chance to go in for 65. That turns so hard. Hit a good putt. It's just, just hard to get that thing to it's hard to play it out that high. 66. Oh. Bogey free. Haven't done that in a while. But, thanks. Alright, little bogey free 73. No, just kidding. Enjoyed it. That it was, was fun. Unreal. That was unreal. Guys, what a round. What a round. That right there is probably the best round we've seen on the GM Golf Channel. Straight up stroke play. 66. Bogey free. 6 under. That's unreal. Played good. I yeah. played good. still feel like I, I don't want to say too much because I did play well, but I left some out there with my putter. Oh, you 100% did. But it was fun. I played good. Driver felt nice. Iron felt pretty good for the most part. I just played solid golf. That's We were talking about it yesterday. You know, for both of us, boring golf is good. That oh, was yeah. almost kind of a boring... The reason, I mean, that's the reason I had bogey free. I really only had one hole that I kind of had to scramble on. That was number seven. Right. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, stay tuned for more content. feels good to be back at the home track. Obviously wish I could have played a little bit better for you guys. Four bogeys in a row will do it. That puts me to one over par. Brad six under, and we're about to sign off. Until next time, guys. Mm -hmm.